For the past three years, my happiness was a lie. My husband's mistress coached him to be a better husband to me, and now he's divorcing me because I exposed their affair to her husband. Despite everything, he wants me to look past his mistakes so we can be good co-parents to our children. I'm just nauseous in one event please let me do it here. Everything changed about three years ago and my husband became my dream man. Before that, we suffered a lot in our marriage. After two hard pregnancies and PPD my libido was diminished and we fought all the time. After four years of D-bedroom we started therapy. I thought that was where the improvement came from. My husband started paying attention to me. In the beginning I was panicking because whenever he paid me attention before he expected SEX but now it felt like he was seeing me as a human being for the first time. He was attentive and caring. Emphatic. He touched and cuddled and kissed me out of the blue, without wanting SEX in return. He started helping around the house, bringing me flowers, take out dinners when I work late, planning date nights. Anniversaries, birthdays and holidays are planned perfectly and I started getting the most beautiful and thoughtful gifts. When we fought, he would come the next day and admitted his wrongs and very accurately if he was the one in the wrong something he never did before. He would apologize too when back in the days him apologizing would be a blow to his ego. He said he was happy all the time and lucky to have us as his family. Everything was better and I even got my libido back if not as high as I hoped. I found their conversation about five days ago and I have probably spent over 50 hours reading them. Three years worth of conversation. He would tell her his woes and she would listen. 99 out of 100 times she sided with me. She taught him about intimacy and how important it is in marriages. The tragically funny part is that he never got angry or offended by her telling him off. Calling him silly, stubborn or at times man baby. Her honesty was brutal and yet he agreed with her. She was the one suggesting all the changes and he would ask her for advice about gifts, traveling and all the beautiful things he did for our family. He thanks her all the time for helping him turn his miserable home life around, making it tolerable. With all these texts there were the texts between them that are about them like nobody else existed around them. The flirting, sex talk and pictures. The longing to see each other. He says she is the love of his life every day and that he wishes their circumstances were different. She says the same. They both agree that divorce would ruin their families and that they couldn't be that selfish. How admirable. I feel nauseous. My happiness for the past three years was fake. I don't know what to do. I want to hurt them. I want to expose them and I want to ruin whatever they think is perfect happiness. I am 35. My husband is 39. We have two children 9 and 7. She is 40 and she has one child 14. She is in a dead bedroom with her husband too and for 14 years. The affair is physical too yes but they meet maybe once every month or every other month. She tells my husband that what they feel is probably limerence but that they don't know it yet because they meet so little. She lives in another city. Update. I was here some weeks ago, with my original post. I finally decided that I really should reach out to the husband of my husband's mistress. I found him easily and I contacted him. He didn't believe me at first and was rude about it and told me to go F myself. I hesitated to contact him again to be honest but after a few days I realized that I would too not believe a stranger just popping in my DM accusing my significant other of cheating so I recorded my husband's phone with my phone. Especially the messages where she sent explicit photos and stuff. I also went to the contact to show the number. He didn't answer me the first day then he called me the C word and blocked me. I thought well then, I have done my part and it's on him if he believed me or not. Then after a week my husband came home angry and he yelled at me for exposing them. He asked me why I didn't confront him instead. My problem was with him. I have never seen him yell like this then he packed a bag and left for about a week. I think he's traveled to her. When he got home he said that it was over. He said that he has been trying to make me happy for years and he's done everything a good husband would do but still, nothing was good enough for me. I've made him miserable for years and instead of taking it out on him, I chose to hurt a woman and her child. He moved to his parents' house and now he's renting an apartment I have heard that he travels the weeks he doesn't have the children to be with her, and that she's moving here soon when she gets full custody of her child. I have not been feeling well at all. He has never spoken to me directly since he left and I haven't seen him. He adamantly refuses to talk to me, like I never existed in his life. I don't know what I have done to deserve this treatment. I hate that they won. Update, this morning I got a call from my mother-in-law that my husband has been in jail for the past couple of days and only got out this morning but the charges weren't dropped. Apparently his mistress and her husband had another altercation last weekend, and she ended up hurt again. Now I want full custody of my children. He is out but charges are not dropped so it will probably lead to some punishment. I don't know if family court would count this in case I want full custody and supervised visits. My mother-in-law was hostile when I told her this and she's one of the people who have supported me so I am expecting some pushback. I don't care. Update, thank you so much for staying in touch and I am so sorry that I cannot answer your DM. I haven't been active on Reddit, and I have received tens of DM every day since my posts. I have been trying to adjust to life as a single mother. It is hard and especially the weeks I don't have my children. Unfortunately, I could not convince court to give me sole custody even with my husband's pending legal issues due to him not having any priors. He however succeeded to limit my family's access citing parental alienation. 
I am not allowed my children around my family without supervision. All of these actions are temporary however until we get a court date. He is refusing to meet or talk to me for any reason besides texting about the children. He is not in jail for those who are asking, he has no priors so he is out. He will probably not be getting any jail time either but rather parole. Anyway, his mistress has secretly recorded some of the abuse she was getting from her husband and she has sole custody of their child now. She has moved to our city and she and her child are living with my mother-in-law. Yes, mother-in-law and from what I have gathered, she lives with my husband on the days I have the children. Today I was out with my children and my friend and her children to have Mother's Day brunch. I was the happiest I've been for months because I got a bouquet of flowers and chocolate that is signed from my children, world's best mom, and I knew that it was from my husband. Anyway when we arrived to the restaurant, there he was with his mistress and her child. They were celebrating Mother's Day too. Her son was sitting between them and she had gift papers and flowers all around her on the table. I froze and wanted to leave but he came and apologized and said that he didn't mean for this. She was crying and hugging her son. I wanted to faint because my children were so excited to see him and wanted to go inside and eat brunch with their dad. He told our children that it was mommy's day then he asked me if I wanted her to leave so the children can have lunch with both of us. I just left with the children and took them to McDonald's instead. He sent me a long text saying how sorry he was and how he wished that he loved me as much as I deserved and that he wished me to find love soon. He doesn't regret our marriage and hope I don't either because we got our beautiful children out of it that we need to raise and to not punish them because of what he did. Please let us not let our resentment of each other to spill out on our children. Let us promise to keep them happy and loved. Let us not use them as pawns. I asked him what I lacked that she has. A question that have been living rent-free inside my head. He said to stop this. This is futile. I insisted and I called him and he answered for the first time in months. I told him I wanted to know. No matter how harsh the truth was I can't live without knowing. He said nothing. I lack nothing and she is not better in any way. He just loves her and loves himself when he is with her. He feels real and genuine happiness with her that he never felt in his entire life. I hang up and he texted I am sorry. This is the truth you asked for. You are not less than. You lack nothing. Please let us give our children the good life they deserve. Don't hurt them to hurt me. I don't know what I have done in my previous life to deserve this. The way he was with her. He never looked at me that way not even when we first met. I don't know how to stop thinking about them. It is in my brain all day. I want full custody of my children and I will fight for it as much as I can. She will never be their stepmother. Her custody is not finalized either and hopefully she will have to move back to her city so her husband can have visitation rights and she is out of my life. If my husband wants to move to be with her, my children stay with me. Update, it turned out that was exactly my mother-in-law's plan. She is a therapist and she used that to get me to leave her son alone and let him go. The embarrassing thing is that she almost succeeded. Or should I succeeded? When I heard that his mistress, who he threw me in our marriage for, who he broke his children home for, left him to go back to her husband, I saw him as a pathetic little man not worth my love. My feelings for him disappeared. I felt that I was finally free and could move on. The man who broke me has got his karma. Until I saw him this morning having a picnic at the park with her, his head in her lap and she was playing with his hair. I called my mother-in-law and started crying asking her why they were still seeing each other. She started begging me to calm down, leave them alone and to not make a scene or try to hurt them. She did it for me. If I thought he was losing I would not see him as a prize and wouldn't be fixated on winning him back. Is that really her picture of me? Unstable and vindictive. That I would make a scene or hurt anyone. Was I hurt? Angry. Broken. Yes. Of course. I have lived through hell this past year and I lost everything that I loved and valued. But the way she is trying to make me sound like I am an unstable psychopath. But why was she right anyway? Why did I get turned off by my husband and finally could let him go in my heart when I heard that his mistress had left him? I texted him, told him everything. Told him what his mom has done. Told him that I am over him and no longer in love with him and that I wished him happiness. I told him that I never want my mother-in-law to call or talk to me again. All that's left now is our children and we need to be the best co-parents to them. This will be my last text directed to my husband that I ever sent. I am finally ready to move on.